Hi, welcome to the Western Region Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Western Region housing market, which includes the counties of Allegheny and Garrett in Maryland, Grant, Hampshire, Hardy, Mineral, and Pendleton in West Virginia, and Clark, Frederick, Shenandoah, Page, Warren, and the city of Winchester in Virginia. Home prices are one of the most popular gauges of market vitality, yet they only give partial readings of market health. Soft prices may accompany improvements in other indicators such as purchase demand, absorption rates, seller concessions, or market times. Region-wide prices often fall short by not recognizing the mix of homes that close each month, be it weighted toward single-family, lender-mediated, or new construction. In addition, price movements often lag changes elsewhere in the marketplace. Let's see what the preferred market thermometer has measured for November 2011. But first, pending sales were up 13.1% from last November to arrive at 319 for the month. Purchase demand continues to outperform last year's levels. However, that doesn't mean each market segment made up the same share of sales as last year. Yes, it's probably old news by now, but those gains in buyer activity combined with slowed seller activity are still drawing down the inventory bins. The number of active listings was down almost 10% to arrive at 3,849 units. Dramatic declines in active listings have really been the tale to tell over the past few months and could indicate a changing spring 2012 market. Prices tumbled a bit since last year, which could simply reflect the mix of homes that closed. The median sales price was down 6.2% to $140,600. Since prices tend to lag behind other changes in the marketplace, and they can also be skewed by the cross-section of homes selling, let's check in on our favorite non-price housing indicator, month supply of inventory. Historically, markets with between five and six months supply are considered healthy or balanced, though some experts have extended that strike zone to four to seven months. In November, month supply was down 9.4% to 12.6 months. Ultimately, less than five months of supply is considered a seller's market, while greater than six months supply means we're still frozen in a buyer's market. Forces beyond supply and demand affect home prices, and other factors outside of housing serve as inputs into the equation. New job growth and consumer confidence both drive purchase demand and pressure prices. Similarly, when real incomes are on the rise, families can afford more house, and move-up buyers also become increasingly motivated. To that end, the jobless rate fell from 9% to 8.6% in November, the lowest level in two and a half years. That's the Western Region Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the very latest. 